2009 Honda Civic blower motor and fan resistor I'm replacement I'm Brian Nessa from how to automotive and I'm gonna walk you through that process the first step to getting the blower motor and resistor out is to remove this lower shield here underneath the glove box so what you're gonna do is right here on the corner right hand corner you put your fingers in here and pull towards you okay to get the blower motor out which is right here underneath the glove box is push the electrical connector in and then we're going to remove the three screws um, so there's going to be one here one in, back towards the firewall and one on the right side of the of the fan and then we'll move remove those three and it'll drop straight down the basic tools you're going to need to get the um, is a T25 Torx. You don't need a long one like this. You can have a regular one with an extension if you like, and a ratchet or electric air, uh, electric uh, you know, screw gun. And uh, and you're just going to remove, like I said, the Torx. The screws are Torx. Once you get the last screw, it'll just it'll literally just fall straight out. Now you can just set that aside for now. Now to get to the blower motor resistor. Basically, if you follow this electrical connector, it goes, it leads you right up to it. So it's right here, just to the left of the uh, the blower. It only has two screws. So there's one screw here and one on the opposite side and one electrical connector. So you just squeeze the electrical connector off and take out the two screws and then pull it straight out back and then downward. So you can see the two screws there. Here's the part number for the uh, new blower resistor. So once you got the old one out, you're just gonna basically slide this one back in, tar start the two screws and um, plug the electrical connector back in. Now that the uh, blower resistor is uh, uh, remounted, uh, now we're gonna turn our focus towards the blower. And uh, I wanted to show you the part number for that real quick. So to put the blower back in, what we need to do is flip it like this, and then we need to make sure we line this little this little part that sticks out like this. Um, this is, helps vent out condensation and stuff, so we need to make sure it's in there right. It probably only will fit in one way. So you're gonna fold your electrical connector out, line up your 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 indicator right there, and slide it up just like that, and start your bolts. Now that the bolts are, uh, or the screws are resecured, plug in your electrical connector. And you, I wanted to mention these are all just, you just need them snug, you don't need them super tight. And uh, once you got that achieved, now what you're gonna do is uh, turn the car on and check your fan and blower operation. Everything is good, we're gonna put the lower shield back on. So when you check your blower operation, you just wanna make sure it works in all settings, a so full high, and then cut it down to, you know, a couple notches and check it and cut it back a couple notches and check it and uh, once you're satisfied that everything's working we can go ahead and put the lower cover back on okay to put the lower shield on they have these little plastic uh, well actually they have plastic little nipples with rubber grommets on top of it and if you look back there's a little hole on the right side and a hole on the left side so these have to stab inside those little holes and then once you get those stabbed up then you're just going to line up the clips these clips here with the uh, on the front of the glove box right there there and right there so you're going to line everything up and once you got everything up you'll push inwards towards the firewall and that'll secure the, the cover and that completes the blower motor and resistor installation on a 2009 Honda Civic. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and encourage you to subscribe.